My name is Peter. My guest today is Min. Min is a senior software engineer with Accolade. Uh, it's good to have you here. Thank you for having me today. All right, Min, so uh, before I talk about this, what do you guys do? We help our customers to lower their healthcare costs by pro providing personalized health and benefit solutions to their employees and their families. Currently, we have about 1.5 million users for different companies across all industries. All right, so quite a decent size. I'm hearing uh, healthcare, right? So whenever I speak with customers working in that industry, there's basically two things that they focus on very much, which is security and data privacy, right? So before we get into details here, what's the challenge that you guys have been looking at uh, when solving uh, things? And also, how does security play into this? There are two challenges we're trying to solve. The first one is security. We have to protect the PHI data for our clients. So we have to provide multiple layers of security in our infrastructure. The API gateway is the centralized place to, hand, to protect our APIs. The second challenge we have is we have a legacy API gateway mm. which use XML configuration to define the APIs. But our API documentation using the open, open API standard previously known as Swaggers. At the same time, the AWS API gateway used open API standard out of the box. And also, we want to use Lambda function, uh, we want to support the Lambda function natively. So we are switching our gateway solution to Amazon. All right, so we're simplifying things and uh, moving into serverless technology. Now, um, Let's take a look at this. So if you look at this part here, what's going on? So we have two types of clients, the web application and mobile client. We decided to put CloudFront in front, in front of the gateway because we can leverage the Lambda at Edge to handle the traffic shifting between the legacy gateway and the, and the Amazon API gateway. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, you just basically make sure that you keep things very close to Edge right here with Lambda at Edge. And uh, the only responsibility right now is to make sure that you basically balance traffic, right, between mm -hmm. these two. Now, um, if I'm looking at that area here, so API Gateway, you know, this is where security kicks in, right? So uh, there's two things that um, API Gateway does, does in terms of um, authorization, right? So you have uh, Cognito is one option, and you have the uh, custom authorization as well with uh, Lambda. I suppose you've been going for Lambda here. So what's going on here? We already built an in-house identity provider which handled the authentication. So before the client send an API request to the backend services, they first need to obtain a JWD token. Mm. And when they send the API request, they will put the token as an authorization header. And when the API request hit the API gateway, the custom authorizer will look at, will decode the token and make sure the signature is proper and also it will compare the scopes, have the correct overall scope to access the, um, the backend services. And also we decided to externalize the scope configuration in DynamoDB. All right, so you're persisting scopes right there. Uh, these scopes are coming from the API endpoints, right? Um, so let's take a look at this part right here. So what is a little confusing for me is that you do have two load balancing uh, uh, kind of uh, services in place. So what's going on? So before we dive into that, there are two types of services we have to integrate. First is the Lambda functions. Because they're native to the API gateway, the integration is straightforward. And there's another type, it's, which is the container services. And like I said, we have to protect the PHI data. Mm. So we have to put the put the container service behind the private ALB. And because there's no direct connection between the API gateway and the private ALB, we have to put an Nginx between them to handle the mutual TSL, um, which is like verifying the client certificate coming from the gateway. All right, okay, so Nginx take that, uh, takes that role of uh, basically termination, right? Okay, so um, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for sharing that uh, interesting details, and uh, thank you for watching This Is More Architecture. <laughs>